Hey everyone, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. Today I'm going to show you how to print on multiple cups on the Mach 6042 Mark II. It's really simple, really easy. We're going to show you how we do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into work set and we're going to tell it the diameter of our cups. So we're going to go menu, work set, and that will drop your bed all the way down. We're going to tell it 88 millimeters because that is the diameter of these cups we're printing today and hit enter. And it's saying no table spacer set wide span. What that's meaning is these are your wide span rollers and no table spacers means we have no spacers in the bed because we're printing on a thicker product. So it's just letting you know how to print it. All you're going to do is hit enter to bypass. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go to kebab origin set. That's going to show us on the cup where we want our origin to start. So when I go into that, I'll hit enter. So to bring the carriage out, we have to hit the left arrow key. And then hold the left arrow key and move the laser where you want to start your origin. This is always going to be bottom right of your image. So we're going to start it right there. We're going to do a 2.9 inch logo on every single one of these. So now I'm going to show you on Raster Link how to combine five different images and separate them accordingly for your cups. So we've got all five of our images that we want to print. I'm going to hold shift and select them all. As you can see I have attached my white plates um, now that they're all selected, I'm going to come up here to the Arrangement tab. Once I go to the Arrangement tab, it's going to ask me what my scan margin needs to be. So we have determined for a 2.9 inch logo on these cups, we need it to be 1.3 inches between each one of them. So all you have to do is hit Arrange, and it will arrange them for you. So now all of our jobs are composited as you can see. So I'm going to come down here to the kebab edit jig print And now you can see how it is laid out all of our jobs One thing you want to make sure is your jobs are turned on a 90 so you can see these two need to be turned That's very easy to do just select the job on the left And you can turn that job individually The first one as well needs to be turned so now we're ready to print. We got a 1.3 margin in between each one of these. So next, all we're gonna do is hit rip and print and send it over to the machine. So we've sent the uh, jobs over to the machine. Now all we have to do is hit remote and that's gonna send it in and start the printing process. So in less than six minutes, we've got all five cups done, five different images, five different logos. 
So if you were purchasing these cups at MamonkeeInkJet.com, you're going to be paying $6 per cup. Uh, this should be a $25 sellable cup. So in six minutes, we've made $100 profit. Um, Say that again. Six minutes, $100 profit on these cups. It's that simple, that easy. Make sure you go to MamonkeeInkJet.com. Uh, get a look at all our different blanks. We've got different colors, different powder coats, stainless cups, and these are all UV printable cups. Um, the adhesion is unbelievable on these cups. Promise it's the best in the industry, and we test all of these for you guys. So make sure and come check us out. We appreciate y'all's business.